Uh, the shared right. cockpit. I can't remember the name of it. What's it called? Let's do control E. <laughs> there we go. Control E worked. And a, oh, parking brakes on. All right. So that's funny that it, that synchronized for both of us. The movement of the plane. Yeah. That's funny. I'm probably turn the footprint off now. We got some bits coming in. hundred bits. Fuel cut off. All right. Bring up the taxi lights. Um, and I guess what runway do you want to take off? Um, let's take off from uh, th uh, three six. Three six. All right. Yeah. Then uh, let us get there. Look at this, guys. He's controlling my plane. Hands off. <laughs> and if you want to see if you want to see him streaming thank you for the bits there's the multi twitch do you have a fuel truck in front of you and i no oh. i don't think this they sync the the airport the, traffic and all that oh okay and i am actually sitting in the co-pilot seat okay just for for realism's sake Oh, you mapped it to your to the uh, to the yeah, right like to I the right my, side. My camera. Okay. I mapped it. I mapped it over. So on my view. I'm gonna click on the multi-link, the multi-twitch. Here we go. If it's if it, if the multi-twitch is correctly aligned, like it has yours on the left, mine on the right, you actually see like both views. It it's on top Next of one another. Oh, okay. So be, like left right split would be even better. It would be, and I don't know if we can change that i think it goes left right once you get three or four people in here i'm not quite on center line though and then those of you guys in the multi twitch you can join either chats by clicking on the tab on the left hand side so but yeah i'm i'm hands off and he's controlling my plane this is the easiest way to stream <laughs> plane flaps down and the cool thing about it is people can watch an internal view as well as an outside view at the same time. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Well, with that, you could like get those crazy nice landing shots since we don't have a replay mode now. Yeah. Live, like, live. Someone do like, yeah, the live outside shot of a landing while the other person is landing it. Yeah. The developer actually said that the, um, like you could do the a three twenty, but the more complex the planes get, the harder it is to map all those like, um, shared cockpit controls. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, and the fact is, is that the Cessna's not even working. <laughs> right. <laughs> not not perfect at least. No, yeah. no. Um, but like every like the, all the planes, like they also seem to be very very different. Yeah. So. Now your your uh, airport map that you're showing on stream, is that uh, that's, that's Navigraph. That's J Navigraph. Okay, with the Jefferson yeah. charts. Nice. Uh, what's, uh, yeah, what is this, uh, shared cockpit mod? Where's the, let me see if I it's, grab it. It's, uh, the... your control, I have it open here. I can just, uh, pop it into your chat, which I have open right now. I think this is 24. It is, it is, uh, it says 23, Monkey Power, but boy, it's close. Thank you, Monkey Power, for the subscribe 23 months. Just posted the link in both chats. There is the shared cockpit from sequel 32 and thanks everyone like the new followers aqua aqua funk and zerk forever all right do you want to do the takeoff no i just want to sit back <laughs> and just just i want you to fly all the way to waco and what's cool about this is that again you guys if you go to the multi twitch link you'll be able to see both you'll be able to see both the the, the cockpit view as well as the external view d money's oh, is well flyover yep d money's is an inverted flyover yeah it was inverted d Man. money's is here jay hoons fraggle zombie is here you don't see my airspeed from here though 60. it's so weird to like fly from the co-pilot view i bet yeah You're like the oh, there's Flyza. There's Tom taxiing down. 
I think Flyza just ran into the grass or he took off from the taxiway. I like it. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's down. Flyza is down. And... There he is. No, he's back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> you got Piaware running. You need to get one set up at your place. What is Piaware? Is that a Raspberry Pi? Pi I want to do it. What is it? I'll do it anyway. I don't even know what it is. Piaware. You need to get one set up at your place. I need to do this. All right. So I'm going to give you... Uh, did you put in the destination or no? No. I uh, I loaded in before I had it uh, loaded in. Okay. I'm going to give you a heading to fly. If you don't mind. Sure. Uh, one five seven. One five seven. See, so this guy is in New York. You're in New York. You're in Brooklyn. Yep. In Brooklyn, yes. In Brooklyn, and he. I'm in Utah, Ooh. and he. Sorry. He's controlling my plane. One five seven. Oh, you got ADS-B going on? Ooh. Do you have an outside antenna? CXN? We got 200 bits coming in. Uh, what altitude do you want to go at? Uh, 1,005. Uh, yeah, 2,000. We can go down. Yeah, 2,000 should keep us over terrain. Autopilot on. And I only have the the route in Navigraph, but I don't have it in uh, in the plane. Yeah, I'll keep you on track. I'll be your navigator. Look at those clouds. This is working, Endeavor. Great. Do you have uh, you have live weather on, right? Uh, no. No. I have a preset, and I think it's few few clouds, but it looks more than a few, doesn't it? I just turned the life weather on for me. So some more clouds. So now crashes are not my fault. Exactly. <laughs> the future of flights is remote slash autopilot, just like drones. That's true. Oh, we took off without landing lights. Oh, oh. Did you do, are you doing on No, you're not doing on air, are you? No. Oh, okay. No, no. I was like, you got lucky if you got a job down. I, to, I was just to, checking every, every lights and I was like, oh, yeah. landing lights are still off. I mean, I could, in theory, program in the route, or at least a direct to, uh, what was the KACT? Kilo Alpha Charlie Tango, yep. It's kind of nice just sitting here and just enjoying the flight <laughs> and not doing anything. <laughs> oh, be careful with using the uh, Garmin GPS. Oh, man, you're a daring man. Because I, I did a, I did a uh, um, crash to desktop when I was. Oh, really? When I tried to delete the flight plan, yeah. Uh, switch your CDI to GPS. Where I do though here. There we go. And then we should be able to just switch over to nav mode. Yeah, there it goes. We got a subscribe. Captain Tony Stark. Wow, 22 months, John. Keep up the great streams, my friend. 20, Have a great day, John, and all in the chat. 22 months, subscribe from Captain Tony Stark. How you doing, Tony? Tony, Captain Tony Stark is uh, an on-the-road truck driver in the real world. What uh, runway do we going to expect on uh, Inveco? Uh, I'm going to look at the possibilities here. What are the winds? 
If someone can type in exclamation metar space K A C T in chat, it looks like runway zero one is the best wind. We can do an R nav GPS or a visual to runway one. The winds are three six zero at niner, ten statute miles clear, temperature two nine dew point two one, altimeter three zero zero three. I got to learn the remarks because I don't know what AO2 SLP 160 TO blah, blah, blah is. Fly 787. Fly 787 given five gifted subs. Holy smackless. Fly 787. Thank you. Full Metal Cookie. Rendezvous with Destiny. Twarog 68. Kirill6673 and It's Me Brad all getting gifted subs from Flies787. Tom. Thank you, Tom. Once he types in chat, guys, he's in the group flight here as well. Click on his name. Give him a follow. You're going to really have some good times watching his streams. For sure. One of the quick uh, quickest to... To affiliate that I've seen in a long time. Um, whoever that is next to me has got a little bit of lag, a little bit of rubber banding. Actually, Fraggle's got a little bit too. The server. All right, I put the Orner Orner waypoint in there, which uh, then gives us the right track for runway zero one. Perfect. 87 miles to go. Are, are you having any rubber banding on these two off of our left wing? Fraggle Zombie and the other guy? Nope. No, yours is smooth. So it's just me. Huh. Fraggle Zombie's okay now. He's right behind me, but Psycho Vision is definitely rubber banding. Interesting. I wonder if I do this. It's a little bit better. Hey, John, I turned off hyper threading and now MSFS is behaving very well. No stutters or long pauses. Well, that's, that's a good find. How did you, did someone did some, someone tell you to try that, or did you just try that on your own? Maybe because you're from Brazil? Well, the weird part, Psycho, is that uh, Endeavor's in New York, and so that's not too close to... to uh, and you were fine when you were flying inverted near, near us, but now there's a little bit of lag. But that's okay. We could tolerate a little bit of lag. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, a little bit of rubber, rubber, I call rubber banding. There's a good guide right there from Geek Brunlea. Uh, how do graphic settings and performance guide? I like this. I think I need to bookmark this. There, there are the two, the two pilots. There's the what? The two pilots. Ah. But I have a, I have a female co-pilot in my sim. Yeah, I can read that. Doing some, some drone shots. Ah, okay. We got a follow. We got uh, Dom Salio with the follow. Thank you. I turned it on the other day because other told others told me to try that, so I shut it off, and now it's great. So. The sim's not liking the multi-threading, huh? Hmm. I read in one guide, and I, I tried that yesterday. Um, if you have like a lot of cores uh, in the in your task manager, in this affinity for the program to basically disable the core zero and one, if you're experiencing issues and crashes. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if that's related to DX11. 
Could be. I, I, I think they still have to do a lot of Im improvements for the performance and for compatibility. I don't know where those crashes lately came from. I had like an on-air flight over Czech Republic, which kept crashing for no reason. Well, yeah, and you couldn't load up at Vegas. And I couldn't load up in Vegas. But I think that might have been because of the Navigraph uh, beta, the Navigraph data. Oh, uh, okay. Um, they, in, in their forums, in the beta forums, they said that a lot of airports started crashing after people installed it. Like even like airports like uh, LAX, where people had no issues before. Mm. And all of a sudden it started crashing. So I removed that. I haven't tried Vegas after that again, but um, other airports where I crashed as well uh, started to work after I removed it. I guess that is a good point, uh, a good tip for, for anyone that's tweaking their sims, adding this, that, and the other. Maybe keep a little log of what you've added over time because if something yeah rears its head you know, glitches or crashes or stutters or whatever. Just notate that, oh, the last few things that I've changed are this, this, this. Because sometimes I just get going and over time I build up such a, you know, mess of different things that I've done that I don't can't keep track of what to undo to try. Fishco Blue, you do that for the XP Excel file? Oh, the XML file? Yeah. I find p player tags on still cost me about 10 frames. Really? I wouldn't have thought player tags would cause you 10 frames. Wow. There's Black Sheep ahead of us. Um, Fish Go Blue, did you see my scorecard? I posted it on the Discord from yesterday's round. I shot an 82, and I only, I, something like 17% greens in regulation. <laughs> I bought like a back backseat view here. Backseat flying. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how I'm getting that stutter on these guys now. But you don't have it. That's got to be my download versus upload. And it's most likely my download that's affecting that. Hmm. Playing later today? Yeah, it's been really good weather. We've been playing. I played two days in a row, and we it's been in the uh, 70s, 70s and low 80s. Yo, John Fly, acknowledge the fall. And the smoke finally blew out of the valley, so... Thank you, Max Hughes, for the follow. Appreciate that. If you guys want to see, I am doing shared cockpit with Endeavor. If you're just tuning in, we've got a multi-twitch going. So if you click on that link, you'll be able to see the pilot who's flying the plane right now. And I'm sitting. Uh, he's flying from the right seat, and I'm sitting in the left seat. And he's. we're doing shared cockpit. Even though in the cockpit no one sits next to me, but we just imagine that. Yeah. 